FTS is armed. Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. All right, 50 seconds to go. Everything is ready for an on-time launch today. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Copy, go for launch. Ground teams are ready and the crew inside Dragon is ready. 30 seconds to go Nine, until launch. Seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission and liftoff. Godspeed, Endeavour and Crew 2. Copy, 1 Alpha. Endeavour launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2 now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching downrange. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. We are T plus 30 seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure max Q is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. Throttling down helps us pass through this period, which should be coming here shortly. Q. There's our call out that we have just passed through max Q. Stage one throttle up. And one we can bravo. Now... Copy one bravo. All right, one bravo is the second abort mode on the first stage. The first stage continues to fire for two minutes, 35 seconds. One and a half minutes into today's flight. Falcon 9 now traveling at more than 1,500 miles an hour. MVAC engine chill has started. All right, the engine chill for the second stage single Merlin engine has started. About 30 more seconds of the first stage firing to bring our four astronauts into orbit. Now from here coming up in about 20 some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage, stage separation. One, throttle down. And then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit. Hey, Alpha. Copy to Alpha. Acquisition confirmed. Acquisition signal launch. In the position. And we have ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T-TEB fluid. The ex extent expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we like to see. Good performance on the second stage so far. And on the left side of your screen, we saw the uh, exhaust of the second stage engine streaming past the first stage as the grid fins are coming out. We also briefly had a view of the lights of Central Florida in the background. Currently, the first stage is continuing to coast up to Apogee. It's unpowered. It'll reach a peak height and then begin to descend back down toward the Earth's atmosphere where it will light three engines to slow down in preparation for what will be a landing burn on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the grid fins are deployed. Right now, the first stage Dragon pulsing. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. We're pulsing the thrusters. Signal of Bermuda. Copy, nominal trajectory. And we hear a call out from the crew, nominal trajectory. 
So we're beginning to move the first stage into position so it can do the entry burn. Four minutes, 15 seconds into today's flight, Second stage propelling our four astronauts up the eastern seaboard. We'll continue to fire. It's a six minute burn to deliver the astronauts into orbit. We'll wait for a cue for a good orbital insertion after that. Meanwhile, we will be hearing uh, check ins on the vehicle's trajectory and performance, as well as check ins with some of the ground stations as it passes over uh, throughout uh, the six minutes of the second stage firing. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Getting good views of both the first and second stage from the onboard cameras. Acquisition of signal, boss. The New Hampshire tracking station has acquired the second stage telemetry signal. Meanwhile, the first stage has reached apogee and it's now beginning to descend from uh, a height. It's currently about 167 kilometers up. And in a few minutes, we will get the entry burn of the second stage, of the first stage. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on HQ that second stage. Propulsion is nominal. Stage two continues to climb. The vehicle now exceeding 8,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about 124 miles. And just about one minute from now, we will begin the entry burn of the first stage. That'll consist of lighting the center engine and then shortly afterwards, two more engines for a three engine burn to slow down the first stage in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Another check in, and the crew confirming they're hearing the same thing. The vehicle exceeding, are about to exceed about 10,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, first stage down at 90 kilometers, getting ready to relight three engines for the entry burn. Stage two FTS has saved. We've got the center engine ignition and there come the two side engines. Now this entry burn will last about 29 seconds. It's gonna significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete. We're down below 35 kilometers, continuing to look good on the first stage, heading to the Atlantic Ocean for a landing on the drone ship. Well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two in terminal guidance. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of the stage two, a few seconds until cutoff. MVAC shutdown.
Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Launch escape system disarmed. Copy. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbit insertion. Copy nominal orbital insertion. All right, the Falcon 9 second stage has done its job delivering our four crew into orbit. You hear the applause here on Hawthorne. We're waiting to get a video signal back from the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And the view from the onboard camera, we saw it just briefly. It looks like first stage on the drone ship. Getting views of the Dragon trunk. So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed. And more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up, Gary. That's right, about two more minutes, the Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase. It'll take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. It's great to see some of the views of the Earth as it passes by over the North Atlantic Ocean. All right, we're getting shots of the crew in orbit. I'm looking uh, for that zero G indicator. Can't seem to see it in this shot, but we have a minute to go until we have uh, spacecraft separation. Dragon traveling at nearly 17,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 124 miles. Again, the four-person crew of Endeavour is in orbit right now. Less than 30 seconds until we have spacecraft separation. Ten seconds to spacecraft separation. We should hear words from the core here in uh, Mission Control Hawthorne once we have successful separation. Thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. See you side, crew two. Thank you very much. We're great. It's glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to crew one when we get there. Thanks. Absolutely stunning views from both inside the cabin, seeing the excitement of our four-person crew inside Endeavour, and watching Endeavour drift away from the camera on the second stage as the Earth passes by on an orbital sunrise. SpaceX Endeavour, we... 
And Endeavor, you uh, cut out a little bit there. If the question was, uh, if you're go to open visors, you are go to open visors at this time. Copy and work, thanks. All right, 13 and a half minutes past liftoff. The crew is in orbit, traveling at nearly 17,000 miles an hour. Well, Gary, I don't know about you, but uh, 